Hey guys, I'm Josh McCullum. I'm an osteopath and personal trainer, and today I'd just like to welcome you to my channel, Safe Hands Health Fitness and Rehabilitation, the Stability, Alignment and Flexibility Equation. The next set of exercises we're going to be doing is going to be using an MET. So an MET is a muscle energy technique, which is basically pushing against resistance. Benefits of this technique is essentially it can improve joint mobility, so you can find that a stiff joint can then lead to a stiff muscle, or a stiff muscle can lead to a stiff joint. So by releasing the muscles using this MET, it's then going to essentially help to improve the joint mobility and the muscle quality. It's also going to help improve the local circulation of the blood to the area. So we're going to be using it for hip flexion, we're going to be using it for hip extension, we're going to be using it for hip abduction, hip adduction, with all of these exercises, you are going to be holding them for 10 to 15 seconds per time. You're then going to take a break for about 5 to 10 seconds, and then you're going to repeat this three times in total. So you're going to need a door, or you're going to need a wall, something you can press against, and you're going to be using this as resistance to all of the different movements that you can do with your hip. So the first exercise we're going to be doing is going to be hip flexion with a straight leg. So this is going to be working the iliopsoas, you're also going to be working your rectus femoris, your sartorius, your pectinalis. So you're going to lean towards the door, place your toe or your foot into the door, whilst making sure your back is staying in good alignment and the rest of your body is staying in good alignment. You're then going to hold that for 10 to 15 seconds and then release. And then you're going to repeat that three times in total. The next portion we're going to be doing is the extension. The extension is this motion here, and that's primarily going to be working the big glute muscles and the hamstring muscle. So for extension, you're going to be facing away from the door, so you're going to pop in the heel of your foot into the door, and then very gently pushing back with the heel of your foot into the doorway there. Again, 10 to 15% of your strength for 10 to 15 seconds. Gently push backwards, making sure that you're not arching back and you're not bending forward. Phase three is going to be abduction. So abduction means to take away or abduct. So you're going to be popping the side of your foot into the door. If you do need to use something for balance, you can. And then what you're going to do from there is you're going to just push your leg outwards into the door. And this is then going to be working the lateral component. So that's going to be your ITB, that's going to be your glutes. And once again, three times in total, and you're going to hold it for 10 to 15 seconds per time. Adduction. So for this you may need to open the door, pop the inside of the foot that you're trying to work on or the inside of the leg that you're trying to work on into the door frame and gently trying to push your leg into that direction there. And this is going to be working the adductors, it's going to be working the gracilis, it's going to be working the pectineus. And that again you're going to hold for 10 to 15 seconds and repeat this three times. I hope you find the videos useful and informative. If you do, please do feel free to share them with friends, family who may be suffering with further problems as well. Um, if there are any specific requests that you have, if you would like any information, please do just let me know via private message or via comments.